Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up and install the DBO Group plugin version 1.0.2 for WHMCS version 8.1.3. Let's get started. First thing to do is go to github.com DPO Group DPO WHMCS and navigate to the releases tab. Once here you're going to download the WHMCS 8.1.3 DPO plugin 1.0.2 zip. When downloading, it's best practice to save it to a safe location on your computer. Common locations are the desktop or the downloads folder. Once downloaded, you'll want to extract the zip onto your computer. Most operating systems have built-in file extractors, but if yours doesn't, you can use an application such as WinZip or many others. To find one, simply go to google.com and search for unzipping applications and see what you can find. Once extracted, open the folder. In this folder, you'll see four files, the changelog, a license, the modules folder and a readme.txt. Open the readme now. Now that the readme is open, let's go through the installation instructions and get the plugin set up on your website. It says here step one is to extract the zip, which is what we have already done. We'll move on to step two. Step two says we need to copy the modules folder here into the WHMCS root directory. You can do this via an FTP client, via SFTP, or using the file manager on your server. But in this video, we're going to use FileZilla, which is our FTP client of choice. Now that I'm logged into the file system, what you're going to do is find the public HTML folder. This is where you're going to copy the modules folder in the downloaded extracted zip. It will ask you if you want to overwrite. You can do it in this case, and it will merge instead of overwriting. This is why we like FileZilla. So now that it's merged in, we'll need to set it up on the back end of your WHMCS website. Let's do that now. First step is to log into your WHMCS backend. Once logged in, it says we need to go to Configurations, System Settings, Payment Gateways. So let's do that now. Configurations is the spanner in the top right corner. So we're going to mouse over it and click on the System Settings button. Now we're going to scroll down until we find the Payment Gateways button and click on it. When entering Administrative Area on WHMCS, it will often ask you for your password. Now we're going to click on the All Payment Gateways button at the top of the screen. Now there are a lot of payment gateways shown, but you're going to want to look for the DPO Group Payment Gateway. Once you find it, click on it. Now that you've clicked it, the gateway will be activated. But we need to still configure it. We're going to need to put in the DPO Group Company Token and Service Type. This will be provided to you by DPO Group when you register. Once you're done, click Save Changes. Now that it is done, the gateway is active. Congratulations!